Hey folks, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, where in the town of Rivington, we've come across an unfortunate situation where the owner of this house returned home to find refugees squatting inside and was adamant that they be evicted. After investigating, Tava noticed that he seemed to be very concerned about something in his basement, and after confronting him about that, he instructed his Zentar and bodyguards to attack and kill us. So, we gotta deal with this. Um... We're not quite sure how the guard's gonna react to open bloodshed, but we are in a fight, so we're gonna go ahead and take that chance. Uh, we have four people that we have to worry about here. First off, we have... First in the turn order, we have Scarpers over here. Scarpers is a Lightfoot Halfling with uh, extra attack, which I think makes him a fighter. He's also got a bow here. So we can put him at disadvantage by putting someone next to him. Then we have Zenovia Dog. Uh, he's level 8, she's level 9, and has more hit points. Zenovia Dog is the leader of this group. If we take a look at her, 17 AC... Uh, and second story work, which means she's a rogue. We'd like to prevent her from getting, um... Oh, she has extra attack too, so... Maybe that's not exclusive to fighter here, although... As a pure rogue, Astarian doesn't have that. She might be multi-classed? Uh, but she does, I think, have sneak attack, so we want to prevent her from getting a shot off. Then we have Dimples... Uh, Dimples Baxter. Uh, he's got Bardic Inspiration, so I suppose he's a bard? Uh, he does have a dagger, but he's most likely a spellcaster. And then Gleeful Chong, or Gleeful Klong over here. Uh, who has a two-handed weapon. Uh, unarmored defense. Yes, this is a barbarian. So, we've got a couple of options here. Um, with Astarian, we, wanna, we want to, if we can, silence uh, this, this bard, because he's a spellcaster. So, I think our first move with a star in here is to cunning action dash and then we have no good way to get sneak uh, to get sneak attack here unfortunately but we can silence the bard on a hit um, if we move somebody else in range however we could get sneak attack tava should be able to get in there let me see if we move tava in to threaten him that's 9.9 .9 meters. How far does she have? Yeah, she would. we would not be able to get back to this chick. Um, the Barbarian we also want to do some damage to. So I think our best bet um, is to give up the sneak attack to get the... Uh, to get the silence here. I think that's what we want to do for this Bard. So let's go after that. Okay. Only 8 damage, but we believe he's a bard, he's silenced. That's probably a good turn from a Starian. Ready for another round. Uh, now the boss is dangerous. But the Barbarian's gonna rage, which will soak up a ton of hit points. So we probably go after him. Uh, we can try to take him out with Great Weapon Master here. Do we want to use one of our four rages? Or are we more likely to do something well with a smite here? If we get a crit or a kill, we get an extra attack. He's got low defense, good chance to hit. So I think we go in here and use one of our smites. Uh, we get these per long rest, but most often she doesn't have a chance to use these because we're raging. And uh, she can't cast spells while she's raging. We do have four rages in a long rest. Let's see. Prevent him from turning invisible or set him on fire. 2d6. 2d6. Let's set him on fire. Let's go in and hit the barbarian with a searing smite here. Okay, uh, f 33 plus 4 damage. Really nice. Uh, that, was, that was a good shot from her. Now, do we want to use anything else? Do we want to make him bleed as well? I can't remember whether they take the damage at the start of their turn or the end. 
she has the bloodlust elixir up, so I'd really like her to get... She can reach this one, too. We did a lot of damage to him, but that was the smite. Let's do this. Let's have Tava... Well, so much for peace. Let's have Tava do some damage to him somehow, and then... Can she get to that one? Maybe, maybe not. Let's have Tava come in and do a hit here. Now, what about her bonus action, though? What do we want to do for a bonus action? Uh, she has a lot. I don't think we want to burn a spell slot on Smite. Maybe an Oath Charge. So we can do Vow of Enmity here to gain advantage. I don't think we need that for this guy. We're already 95% chance to hit. Uh, they're not Celestial Fiends. Fiends are undead. We could give ourselves Radiant Damage and potentially Daze Enemies. We're not using this a lot, so this <clears throat> this might be a good one to use. I don't think we use mm, these Illithid powers necessarily. Uh, lowering Armor Class will save... Howl of the Dead. Now remind me what this is. Numbs all nearby creatures. Their movement speed is halved, and we have advantage on attack rolls against the affected entity. Huh. For three turns? That might be an interesting one to use. That's a bonus action. Um, so I'm thinking about either this Howl of the Dead, we get it back on a short rest, or Inquisitor's Might for an Oath Charge. How many Oath Charges do we have? I guess just the one? The number of times you can draw upon the strength of your Oath to power your actions. Is there a number there that I'm not seeing? I think we only get one. Um, other options are... We don't want to use Stage Fright, Perilous Stakes. I don't think we want to use Repulsor. Sacred Munitions. We don't use this a lot. Possibly Turn Undead, so that's not useful here. Additional Damage. Force Tunnel. Hunter's Mark. Now this does it. Hunter's Mark does not consume... Well, it says level 1 divination spell. But it's it doesn't say... Like some of these other ones, it says it costs a level 1 spell slot. This one does not. So I think we get this from an item. Uh, and it recharges on a long rest. So I think those are our three choices. Either we use our Oath, tar Oath Charge for Inquisitor's Might. You know what? Okay, let's try out... Let's try out Howl of the Dead. Let's numb creatures nearby. We get advantage on attacks against them. But it's not got a huge range. I don't think we can get both of them. Uh, let's come to like maybe here. These boots have seen everything. And see who this reaches. It'll reach her. Hmm. Okay, then maybe not. Then maybe we go after Inquisitor's Might for ourselves. I think that's a decent bonus action. All right, let's go in and hit this guy. We don't need to crit, and we don't need to smite. Oh, right, I forgot about Call the Weak. Amazing. But that means Carlock doesn't get Carlock doesn't get the kill. I forgot about Call the Weak there. Um. Okay. Well, then in that case, what do we want to do to her? Concussive Smash could daze my target. They can't take reaction and lose the dexterity bonus to their armor class. Piercing shot. Cause gaping wounds. Remind me how gaping wounds works. Attacks against this creature deal an additional two piercing damage. Removed by healing. Uh, if we could remove her armor class, that would be good for Carlock. We have a 95% chance to hit right now. How does Carlock just stack up here? 55, because of Great Weapon Master. All right, yeah, let's try to use uh, a daze here. We're going to get a lot of damage out of it. Now, the other thing we could do is save Tava's second attack here and try to... If we get her down to 24 hit points, what's Karlock likely to do? Like, maybe 50 damage? We could maybe take her out with that. Fuck yes. All right, so we've got one more... No, she's not going to do 50 damage. She's only going to do, like, 25 all right, so I don't think we're going to get there with Carlock. Um, let's go ahead and daze her if we can. 
We don't need to crit. I uh, did a fair amount of damage. In terms of smites, uh, we don't get those back until a long rest. I try to take as few long rests as possible because I want to preserve my, um, my elixirs. And I don't think this is going to make a difference in terms of killing her before she gets to act. Uh, 24 damage here could put her at 50, but yeah, we're still gonna, not going to get the kill. I don't think we put a smite here. All right, that's Tava's turn. Uh, I think she got dazed too. Let's check the log. Yeah, she lost. She has disadvantage on wisdom saves, can't take reactions, and loses the dexterity bonus to their armor class. For a rogue, that's huge. So let's end Tava's turn. And then we'll go in and hit her with Carlock. It was 55% chance to hit with Great Weapon Master before. Now it's 65%. Hmm. Do we want to throw her off balance? Strength dex checks. Tack rolls have an advantage. Hmm. We could lacerate her to bleed her. I don't use this a lot. I almost never use that. This does full damage and could could add more damage to her through bleeding, so let's go ahead and try for this. Nice. 20 more damage and the bleed. Uh, we silence the bard. Can we get... Huh. We can maybe disable this, this ranger, but only if we take an opportunity attack here. I think we just move a little bit closer without... Well, I mean, we can... Yeah, I think we stay here to work on Zenovia. All right. Let's see what she does. So he's going to fire a shot for sure. That's a crit. 15 and 9. It's huge damage. Uh, some damage to Tava too. Man, their, their ability to hit people at this level is great. Um, I don't think I want to charm her. I think we might want to use our reaction for something else. Let's see. Okay. Shadow Heart's up. How are we doing? We lost... Uh, we lost our, uh... We lost our Shield of Thralls and four hit points here. Karlok took four points of damage and lost her 20, uh, temporary hit points. So what do we want to do with her? Uh, this bard over here is silenced at the moment, so he's not going to be able to do much. And Carlock doesn't, or Shadowheart doesn't have a lot of movement. So we can work on Zenovia here. We can put some points into that. Again, I don't think I want to spend spell slots. So maybe we use her poison strike. She has an ability uh, from Cleric. What is it? It's Divine Strike Poison. Weapon action. Once per turn, deal 1 to 8 poison damage in addition to your, to your weapons. Uh, 5 to 10 piercing damage. What's our chance to hit her? 60%? That's not bad. It's a plus 3 weapon. She's not super great at melee attacks. But what else, what else are we going to use this, right? And she doesn't have a resistance to poison or anything. So let's try going in for a melee attack with Shadowheart. Let's do Divine Strike Poison. Uh, this does not cost... This is per turn, so it does not cost us any resource that we would not otherwise have. Let's go for it. Let's try it. Let's see how we do. No mercy. Okay, we did hit her. Let's put the divine strike in. Oh, we didn't switch between ranged and okay, we didn't switch between ranged and poison. But it's a reaction it's a it's a reaction, apparently. Another five poison damage. I like that. Uh, for a bonus action, I don't think we need to do anything here. Let's end turn. We'll let the bard do what he wants. Okay. Two damage. Yeah, I think silencing him was the right call. Okay. Carlock can finish her and get Bloodlust here, I think. How much damage does he have? 37. 55% chance to hit. He's a great weapon master. Uh, you know, if we hit her with, with uh, Tava, she'll just die. How are these guys doing? They have full hit points. I want to get the Bloodlust. Yeah, if Tava does more than... what? 
like 12 or 13 points of damage, this chick just dies. So, I mean, maybe that's fine, right? Maybe that's what we actually do here. Uh, she's got a great chance to hit. Let's just see if we can take her out with Call the Weak. It's a critical miss. Okay. She's dead. That takes her out. That frees Karlock and the rest up for other things. Let's loot her. Uh, she's got a basic scimitar, a chain shirt, and a studded shield. Yikes. Not great. Uh, in terms of a bonus action, I don't think we need anything. Let's just get over here. Um, we could do, you know, we could do something, but at this point I don't think we need to. There's only two of them left. Let's end turn. Let's have Carlock get in range. I think of the two of them, let's put her right here so she's threatening both of them. That'll give disadvantage to this guy. Covered. Now, now if we use a Starion to get a sneak attack, we might get this guy low enough that Carlock can kill him and get the bloodlust. Let's come in and try and get the sneak attack here. There we go, 26. Offhand. For another three. Now Carlock can do some work. Let's go Reckless. Uh, he got killed, so we got our extra action from Bloodlust. So now we'll work on uh, Scarpers here. And we have the bonus attack. Amazing. Okay, there we go. So it looks like... Oh, he's still here. Okay, he's still here. Uh, let's loot the bodies. They probably don't have much, it seems. We'll send this to camp. He had a dagger. Well, how much is this worth? 40? Not really that great. Scarpers. Had a basic poison. I think that was a pretty good fight. We lost a few hit points from the boss. She hit us kind of hard. But... Other than our temporary hit points and a, a few others, we didn't lose much. Add that to wares. The mall and the hand axe aren't really worth stealing. Okay, uh, Carlock, I think if we dash... We get her 20 temporary hit points back. Very nice. And Tava, unfortunately, cannot get her temporary hit points back until a short rest from Shield of Thralls. So, all right. Now, you set these guys to kill us, so you have some explaining to do, Arthur Gregorio. All right. You won. You won. What more do you want from me? Hmm. I want the family to stay. You have room for them, surely. An intimidation check. We're pretty good at this, and it's only a DC 10 because we just wrecked his bodyguards. Well, with Zenovia and the others gone, I don't suppose you'll take no for an answer. God, look at her face all with all right, the blood and the illithid veins. Are you happy now? Now I have to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm sure if you're a man of your means can find room in an inn somewhere. A room can wait. After what you've put me through, I need a drink. Okay. Uh, we are going to check out his basement for sure. Let's talk with the family, too, now that we've given them a place to stay. To threaten us. To threaten the children. Cinta was trembling. She'll be all right. She's a brave girl. We'll get through this. She's not brave, Ben. She's just learned to stay silent to avoid causing trouble. I'm not quite sure why you stood up for us like that. But I won't say I'm not grateful. Thanks. And may Torm keep you. Hmm. How did you end up here? Same way lots of us did. Trying to get away from the army of the Absolute. 
If you had the chance to put a roof over your family's heads after being on the run for Torm knows how long, wouldn't you? No one's telling you to leave. Have all the roof you want. We will stay. For now. I just hope he doesn't pay anyone else to come sniffing round. Thank you. And may Torm keep you. You're quite welcome. You're the first person in this city to have our backs. Thank you. Really. Let's check in with the, with the wife, Marfa. At least we'll have some peace now. Good thing you sorted that out. I was this close to chucking a knife right between that trollop's eyes. No, oh, she didn't like, uh, she didn't like her outfit, I guess? Zenovia? I wonder if there's consequences for killing Zenovia. It may be that there are others in Tarim elsewhere Thank the God. in the city. I was sure we were about to be evicted. We need to get down to... Cope with being homeless again. We need to find the entrance to the basement. He had something down there he was super worried about. Aha! Uh -huh. A hatch. Okay. Let's get the group in here. Um... I mean, we're already stealing, so we might as well do the job right. Let's close the door. Uh, let's sneak up. And we'll take what we can find. A sapphire worth 70 gold is fine. Uh, we've got a backpack over here that might have something interesting in it. Nope. Okay. Um... There's a trap disarm toolkit. We can have a starry and take that. And I suppose there could be scrolls in these rows of books? No. Um, there's a disguise kit here. Ooh, this is actually usable. Uh, let's have Tava grab that. If she can make herself look like somebody else for a, uh, for a, uh, a speak with dead? That could be really useful. A case containing makeup, prosthetics, and wigs. Tools for concealing one's identity or adopting someone else's. That seems pretty nice. Uh, Order of the Gauntlet on matters of law and justice. Okay. Uh, let's have a star and get us into the basement now. Oh, it's a very high DC. 18 is pretty high. We rolled a natural 3 and got a 19. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's head down and see what, what Arforio or Gregorio was hiding. Be careful. Easy. There are traps. This about. place is hungry for blood. Okay. Uh, so, right off the bat, Astarian, start working on these traps. Rigged fireworks, disarm. Natural one, yikes. Uh, we'll roll again with inspiration. That's more like it. Item received, Woglims. What? Uh, single use firework, 3d6 fire, set a small rocket at a foe, blasting the target and inflicting color spray for a turn. Disadvantage on attack rolls, range of attacks and spells reduced to three meters. Uh, range of attacks and spells reduced to three meters. Okay, that's actually fantastic. Uh, he has he has his silence ability with his dagger, so we should send this to someone else. Uh, Tava has tools, Shadowheart has tools. Let's send this to Karlok. Having her being able to silence somebody with the Woglims, that could be very valuable. All right, let's disarm this. Okay, we got another firework. Okay, what do we see down here? Not much so far. Um, we have to be wary of traps. Let's slowly have Astarian make his way through the area looking around. Be careful. There are traps about. Okay, we've got more here. 
There's a trip wire and another firework. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. Okay. I'll just hold off on sending the Woglums until we've disarmed everything. It seemed like this guy had a had a theme for his traps. He used them everywhere. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. Be careful. There are traps about. Gosh, there's a lot of them. Natural one. Yikes. Using up a lot of inspiration here. That's two nat ones. Really not great. Traps. How considerate. Okay. Natural 20. Take that. Now, we did fail on one of these. Uh, I saw we failed on one perception check. There are traps about. God, he's, like, trapped this entire place with tons and tons and tons of fireworks. See, we failed there. Okay. Be careful. There are traps about. There's a lot of them. All right, so we know we have a safe path back to here. Uh, let's have Shadowheart follow this and see if she catches anything that uh, Astarian missed. She has very high perception, uh, or at least high wisdom. We'll grant ourselves guidance and creep forward. There's another one right there. Okay, let's have Astarian disarm it. I guess we got the tripwire, but not the firework, right? Shadowheart. Looks like a trap there. Okay, she saw something that failed on a bit more. A trap. Okay, we see a couple more. Out of sight, out of mind. Uh, let's have a Starian come up here and work on this. What a heavily trapped basement. Whatever he's hiding down here has got to be super valuable. I mean, the Woglums themselves are super valuable. Being able to, to disrupt spellcasters? Incredible. Um, okay. Let's get... Between Tava and Karlok, who has the better perception? She has a plus four. Karlok has a plus five. All right. Let's send Shadowheart back here. We'll throw some guidance on Karlock. We'll send Karlock forward to take a look for anything that the two of them missed. Hey, there's another one. Place is trapped. Wow, there's there's so many of them. Okay. We roll too many more nat ones, we're gonna be in trouble. Where else did we see them? There's another one over here. Well, what? While she's got guidance on, let's creep her forward a little bit more. Looking for trip wires and more. Yep. Place is trapped. Gosh, look god, there's so many. There's like 40 traps down here. This is crazy. Um, all right, we've got one here. Box of fireworks. Okay. Uh, let's come get the trip wire over here. Traps. Ooh. Careful, careful. When he jumped up on that box, my heart skipped a beat. Oh dear. 
someone's left a trap out for us. This is like becoming amazing, kind of amazing how many traps he's put. But it's also like a little bit irksome. It's like, uh, really? Game designers, you want me to disarm 50 different traps? There's another nat one, yikes. I mean, you roll enough. It's only a 5% chance, but you make enough rolls, you're gonna get there eventually. It's where I wish I had those gloves of dexterity for rolling with advantage, but I didn't pick them up in this playthrough. Okay. Let's send Carlock back to get some, to re-up on guidance. Send her over this way. Slowly and carefully, looking for more. Easy. Okay. This place is hungry for blood. She's not noticing anything else. I would have thought there'd be some over here as well. Easy. Okay. This place is hungry for blood. Seems like we're almost we've almost found everything. Let's have a story and do some more work here. Okay. Another rigged firearm. And then I think we're just, I think we're just done after we disarm the chest on the, or after we disarm the heavy chest here. Then we can actually start looting. Just made it by the skin of our teeth on that one. With pleasure. Nice. DC 20, but we managed to get it. All right, now we can find out what is all the goodies down here. What are, what are, what is this guy hiding? Why is there so much security? Let's start taking a look around with the intention of, uh, you know, stealing to our heart's content. All right, so these are toys, not super useful. Shoes. We've got a violin here. How much is that worth? 14 gold for half a pound? Eh. Uh, we do have some food. Send that to camp, including a melon and it looked like a pepper. I don't think we want to use the gong. We're here to steal, so we don't need to advertise our presence. Tongs. Box of odd fireworks. Why did I pick that up? Oh, okay. It costs, it's 26 pounds, but it does 8d6 fire damage. So you could set it as like a trap. Send a rocket of fireworks flames uh, at a foe, blasting the target nearby creatures and inflicting color spray on the target. I mean, carrying this around and then figuring out where to put it down, like you'd have to you'd have to know a fight was coming, design a choke point, set this in place. I'm sure there are some people who would make great use of an item like this, but for me, I just I just don't want to carry around 26 pounds of fireworks all the time for the odd ch the, the off chance that I might find a good time to use it, you know? Still, an interesting idea for somebody with, like, lots of carry weight to spare, I guess. Uh, fire Amber. That's an alchemy ingredient. We'll take that. Not that we're making a lot of alchemist fire. I really only use alchemy to make, um, elixirs and the occasional potion of healing. But... Oh, yikes, I missed one. I wonder how many... So we'll actually be able to see how many there were. Because we already sent two of these Woglums to Carlock. We have 22 more. Insane. Insane. I guess we'll keep two on Astarian for now. 
It's a single-use action, so I guess we use it from an item panel or something. Um, wouldn't it hurt to send a few to other folks? Let's send, uh, let's send two to Tava. We'll send two to Shadowheart. Or no, we'll keep two for ourselves. Yeah, we'll send two to Shadowheart. Keep two for ourselves and send the rest to Carlock. So that's 24, that's 24? That's 24 traps that we disarmed down here, plus the trip wires, probably 30 all told. And then there's the chest as well, pretty, pretty nuts. Try to remember I have those, especially on her. They could be really nice to use. Okay, back to Tava. We'll continue looting around. Uh, I think we've seen everything except this this edge over here. So looking here, we have more balls. Not sure why he has so many balls and toys for kids and stuff. Flute and violin. Crystal ball, worth one gold. In the desk, nothing much. There's a broken loot. Seems like there's nothing much outside of... Whatever's in the heavy chest. Um, weathered chisel set. Adventures. Oil lamp. Rows of books. There's a pouch here. But nothing in it. Uh, and we have a fire amber. We can take that. But really, the only thing of interest that all of those traps are protecting... Are this note and this chest, so let's read the note. Instructions for donation. Gifts for refugees only. Please distribute. Okay. 253 gold. A little underwhelming. And what does the note say? Blackmail letter. Arthur. Package still waiting for you at Philogears. You'd better not be late again, or we'll start to wonder if you're really as committed as you claim to be. Pick it up. Put it in the teddy bears. Make the donation. Couldn't be simpler, really. If it's still here this time tomorrow, we'll stuff you with it. As you well know, we've plenty to spare. Okay, so somebody was blackmailing him into smuggling things inside toys. I guess he's a toy maker. Huh. We should confront him about Maybe this. Checking off his donations. Looks like his generosity is compromised. Investigate the suspicious toys. So does that include the ones down here? We found a blackmail letter in a toy maker's cellar. Something dangerous has been placed inside toys donated to the refugees. We should find them and quickly. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, maybe we want to take this letter as evidence? Not sure. But if we look around, there are balls, war drum, hand drum. Like, there's lots of toys down here, but I don't think these are the ones... That have been donated. We might need to go talk to the Manip guy again. Uh, Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go Let's go see if uh, we can talk to the Manip about whether or not there have been some weird donations. Toys or, or whatever. Uh, we could also check out the rest of this room. Or this house. Take a quick look around, right? Couldn't hurt. Uh, got some sort of kitchen here. And then on the second floor, I'm guessing, is where the children are. Oh, okay. The children have been, in a, been put in a locked room. Um... We don't want to hurt the children, obviously. I'm not sure whether picking this lock would make the parents hostile to us. But I am sort of curious, so... We will pick the lock real quick and take a quick peek inside. Let's go. No, there's no children here. To threaten the children. I don't know where the children are, but is there more evidence in here? A fears Arfur's private musings. This we want to read. All right. She's not brave, Ben. 
An unfinished love story written by Arthur Gregorio, whose name is attached to the bottom of every page. Her ample bosoms fluttered like dove's fingers brushing against his nails. The very ends of his moustache stood to attention as the fire stirred behind his eyes. No doubt this was love. Love. Ah, love. The stuff that dreams are made of. It made him sweat to think of it. The graceful, enduring, blossoming magnitude of what it all... The priceless, breathless, weightless, sheer romping joy of it. He is a terrible writer. Uh, the only other thing of value here is this pouch. And there might be something in the desk. There's more gold and a letter to Mamzelle Amira draft. Madam Amira, thank you for the invitation. You know how much I love Sharis, uh, Sharis's caress. But I still haven't lived down my last experience with the Drow Twins, and I fear they won't have forgotten my little mishap. So that was probably my last visit. I hope you'll understand, Arfur. Okay. In the cabinet? Nothing. The Rosewood desk? I mean, we're already looting the place. Might as well go all in for valuables. And we'll check the wardrobe. Uh, raffish bronze red outfit, raffish midnight outfit, embroidered hat, and slash strip sandals. Okay. We've seen what there is to see. Let's deal with this problem with the refugee donations. Let's get down to the man up. I forget his name, but I remember his title. And uh, let's tell him what we found, what we learned. She's just learned to stay oh, here, here are the children. Or the child. The, their daughter? I guess they're not locking her up. We can at least say hello. Now we don't have to leave. I'm going to build a big house for all the rats. It's gonna be really fancy. You'll see. Okay. There is a wash basin on the second floor, guys. You don't have to keep... Like, I know you're refugees, but you could take a bath if you wanted. Alright, we gotta get over to the ra uh, the man up and tell him there's something fishy going on with the donations. Uh, where was that? It was down here, right? Let's see if our battle with the Zentrum bodyguards allows us to do some real good for the city. Can't keep out of trouble, can you? If you don't have anything to donate, you can get going. Um. Yeah. Uh, I need to get into the barn right now. Something dangerous might be among the donations. Uh, let's see how we do. A six plus a crap ton gets us there. I'm going to let you through because I don't want to take any risks. But you better not be lying. Okay. We have to look for the teddy bear or the toys in the donation box. Let's follow man up. Nestor. Is he going to show us to the donation box or what? Is everything all right, man? Are you going to search the. Oh, okay. We do have to search the barn ourselves. Okay. Uh, so we're looking for. Dangerous contraband in the donations. We're going to check it out. Why? All these goods have already been checked in. I didn't ask for your opinion, Fist. The donation chest. Now, if we wait for them to open it, or do we pick the lock? This place is trapped. Ah, okay. We did find something in this crate. All right. So before we start, I guess we'll talk to him. Uh, or maybe we just have to sorry and disarm the trap. This doesn't have a red highlight around it. DC 20. Okay. We get a plus 14, so if you roll 6 or better... There we go. Okay. Can you please give me a hug? Bet your arms would be so snug. Okay. We've got surprise-based teddy bear stuffed with explosives. Still adorable. Okay. Let's tell Madam Nestor what we found. You were right. Explosives. Now give me some room. I need to make sure the rest of these donations are safe. 
You try and find whoever is responsible for this. I already know who's responsible for- Oh, well, actually... Where's that letter? The blackmail letter. Uh, somebody at Fellow Gears left a package. We can- we can maybe tell Nestor that much? Gods. Any one of us could have been blown to smithereens. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna have to get to this place called Fellow Gears. Uh, we do have... Uh, this explosive teddy bear now. Surprise-based teddy bear. I guess as an action we can throw it. Um, so let's send these to Astarian. Maybe his, uh... Maybe his mage hand can throw some explosive teddy bears around. I thought this assignment was going to be dumb. But hey, we, we got access to the barn. And earned a little bit of trust from the, uh, the fists here. In spite of our face. Uh, let's head out. And we're gonna have to keep an eye out for this place, Fellow Gears, and investigate it to see who's behind... Who's blackmailing this guy into doing that, right? He said he went to get a drink, so he might be at the bar or the tavern. Uh, so maybe that's Fellow Gears. Or maybe not. Um, but either way, we'll have to... That's an interesting animation for you to die to. I prefer my company. Extraordinary. Oh, I missed a bit of banter. Okay, well, uh, overall, uh, a pretty interesting episode here in Rivington. Thank God. We opened up with a fun fight against some Zentorin bodyguards, kicked their asses, uncovered the plot, and have a lead to follow up in the next one. So that's going to be it for this time. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, we're just getting started in Act 3 here with a little bit of intrigue. And I can tell already, this is going to be another long act, another 50 episodes probably to get to the end with tons of fun, interesting side quests like this one. Uh, there's a lot to look forward to. So we'll hope to see you again. Uh, thanks once more, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.